Hello and welcome to day nine of Beta. Technically the Weather Channel says we're having a blizzard. I think it's just snowing, but it is spring. So nonetheless it is annoying. But I did have time to put curls in my hair. Today's video is actually going to be a response to Mike Falzone's latest video about selfish people. I relate to this video because I realized some years ago that I tend to attract selfish people. It is much easier for me to be generous with other people than it is to be generous for myself. So as a person who likes to give, I definitely attract selfish people because they want to take and I want to give so it works out perfectly for them. It tends to always start out for me just like a regular friendship and as time goes on I discover that this is a one-way street. This is not the two-way street that Mike Falzo talks about. I realize that I'm being taken advantage of and that really hurts. When you put a lot of energy into a relationship and you feel like you're giving at least as much as you should and you realize that that person is just willingly taking from you it hurts and you kind of have to make a choice I unfortunately have had to make that choice over and over again one of the last times I can recall that I had to end a friendship because I realized I was being taken advantage of I really had to like work up the guts to do it because you become attached to people and it doesn't matter if they're being a negative in your life if you feel like you're getting something positive out of it it still hurts to walk away from it I always feel like the first step is to just try and confront them do you know you're being a huge selfish jerk are you aware of your behavior I don't know that in any of the situations I've been in that they've ever admitted that that was the case usually there's denial or anger or some kind of defensive measure unfortunately I think I always hope that they're gonna be like wow I didn't realize I was being a selfish jerk let's fix that so we can still be friends usually it's I don't know what you're talking about and I have to say okay peace out I'm done I don't like having to walk away from people I cherish relationships that I have and it hurts to end relationships especially when they've lasted years before I've come to the conclusion that they're selfish and I'm being taken advantage of. For me, something inside of me breaks a little bit. There's multiple layers to it because partially I'm sad because I realize what that person is actually doing. Part of me is also angry at myself for being taken advantage of. How could I have let someone mistreat me for so long and never realize it? It's hard. And I used to kind of punish myself for being ignorant or blinded by the positives in the relationship. I think I've grown up a little bit more and now I let it go. I've taught myself that it is their loss for mistreating me and it is their loss that they're losing my friendship. I'm not better than anyone else, but I deserve really good relationships just like everyone else. We all do. I've actually met other people like myself who tend to devalue themselves and decide that being taken advantage of or being in lesser relationships is what they deserve. And that's totally screwed up. We all deserve to be treated really well by everyone. And I think that information, I think that fact is what led me to be stronger about walking away from crap relationships. I think that with this, like most things, it's all about balance and figuring out how much you can give before it's too much and how much it's okay to care about yourself before you become a jerk. Balance is hard. Finding that medium that works the best is not an easy thing to do. So yeah, those are my thoughts on selfish people. It is okay to care about yourself, but if you're taking advantage of people, you're a piece of crap. And if you're like me and you attract those people, it is healthy to walk away from them. It's not okay to shame them and rip them apart, just like it's not okay to do that to yourself. 
By the way, if you find yourself being selfish and you're not happy with it, just try doing something for someone else. Even holding a door for someone can feel good. I hold doors everywhere I go, and I would say 50% of the time, people are blown away that I'm holding a door for them. I don't know if they're surprised that I'm spending my time waiting and holding the door, or that I thought to be polite, or whatever, but people really seem to appreciate it. Also saying please and thank you, it makes a big difference. Little bits of politeness show that you care a little bit about other people. So yeah, don't be a jerk. And if you're like me and you're the giver who gets taken advantage of, I hope that you can grow to a place where you too can also tell people to F off and find better people to have relationships with. I guess that's all I have for today. I will see you tomorrow.